Welcome to Cooking with Communism. Greetings, comrades. Welcome to Cooking with Communism. I am your host, Vladimir Selassie, and this is my hard working assistant, Babette. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Tonight, for the equal good of all men and women, we are going to pleasure your palate with borscht and red beans. Mmm, sounds yummy. First, we take the borscht and we put it in a pot. And we add some water. Yum, yum. Oh yes, comrades. I remember when I used to stir this delicacy up over an open flame for my Sandinista comrades when we fought Somoza and his henchmen. And it's also good on a TV tray when you're watching 90210. Boom, car. This is good proletariat food. This is food the working class can eat with pride and dignity as the filthy capitalist pigs take the riches from the sweat of our labor so they can have their gourmet cheeses and they can drink their fine wine. These fat bloated swine are so rich they have servants to chew their sweet meats for them. Comrades, with every bite of their caviar that they swallow, their boot heels are trampling over the faces of our working brothers. Anyway, comrades, after you put the borscht on the pan, we eat the pan up so that the sweet aroma wafting off of it is stronger than that of yak excrement in the tread of your boot. We all hate that, comrades, don't we? <laughs> Next, we take the red beans and we put them in an empty soup can and then you squeeze in the dirty rain water from your beret to make a nice sauce. I once had the extreme honor of preparing this dish for Comrade Castro when he came to inspect the freedom fighters in Angola. Oh, how he smiled and he rubbed his belly. And I made some for Bob. He's a stockbroker, and he said, well, honey, I see you're good in the kitchen, too. Now, Castro, there is an arty eater, a real man who can put away the red beans. He doesn't need sauteed swordfish in Bernays sauce. No, he, he eats the food of his people. The dictator Batista ever eat red beans, I ask you. No, he is delicate sauteed lamb with his mob cronies and his American capitalist sponsors. Their marinades are our oppression. We must overthrow the bourgeois kitchens with their fancy cutleries and divide the steamed oysters in calamari lentil fondue among the people. Anyway, comrades, you take the beans, you put them in a tin plate, and you eat heartily. That is all for this week. Come back next time when we make broiled shoe leather with the field mouse appetizers. And remember, the Protestant worth ethic is just another means to placate the masses while they are exploited by the military-industrial complex. <laughs> <laughs>